Hey everyone, it's Thursday and guess what? I am a brand new Mimi. So little boy number three, Lachlan Andrew, has been uh, delivered to us after a long, hard labor. Poor mama, but she did good. She was a trooper. She's up and at it already and home. And of course, without too many events happening, uh, no power for 24 hours. And literally they were driving into the driveway and the power truck was driving out. So the power came on just as they came home. But in the meantime, you know, we were hooking up generators and cords and pulling out the refrigerator and plugging that in. So as they're coming into the driveway, I'm trying to put away all the cords and make it look like a home instead of a disaster relief uh, place. We did get like, I don't know how many inches of snow did we get? Did anybody know the real? A lot. There were such variations in totals all over the place that they could, the weather people were having trouble saying, yeah, we got this amount of snow. We got a lot of snow and it was a lot of wet packy snow. So it just seemed like it kept, you know, just, just going down and, um, it broke a lot of branches and trees in the woods. We had some wind with it. So it was quite the little uh, event going on during the whole thing that we had um, there with Luke. So Luke is doing great as a father. I am so proud of him and how much he is in love with that little boy of his. And I knew that's all it would take is to uh, see that happen. And you know, there's something special about seeing the birth of your child and, um, Fathers get a pretty good view of that nowadays. So, <laughs> yeah, my son got a good education and what women are capable of doing. So I think he has a little bit more respect for us now after seeing that. So um, it's all good. And eight pounds, nine ounces, 22 inches long. Perfect, perfect little baby. And I couldn't be happier as well as mom and dad. You don't like that? It's like it's the wrong color. It's the, it's the wrong color, and it's like really blurry in there. So oh, it's like, okay, it's making her crazy. It's father, he she can't see. All right, right. <laughs> all right. So today we have a trunk show for you for Dear Santa because we have all of the projects. The book is ready. I have it right here. It has been shipped to our distributors and to customers who have just ordered the book only. I would imagine. I might be uh, wrong on that, but I think those are going to start going out next week. We just we had to get all the okay. All right, next week, next week. So sorry about that. We got to get all the big boxes that go out to the distributors first. But um, let's do a few announcements after my big announcement. But um, hey, Heidi, can you pop on my comments for me? Sure. I like to see those. All right, I'm going to run through comments quickly. And um, I do have some prizes today. So Remember to comment. We have a kit that I went downstairs and grabbed and three charm packs. And I also think I'm going to give away a Dear Santa Panther. All right. So make sure you comment, 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 and we will pick winners. I don't know if we've kind of switched spots here today. Miss Heidi is running the camera. Kaylee is on vacation. Where is she? She's doing She's something. She's on the way to Florida, I think, right? She's on the way to Florida? Yeah, that okay. way. So <laughs> away from the snow yeah. that comes in April here in Wisconsin. It's like the panhandle. Horrible. Area. All right, so Kaylee, we hope you are having a good time on your vacation. It is well-deserved. And then Jessica's taking over, picking through the comments and the winners and all that kind of stuff. Ah, yes. All right, so we have Cross Stitch Club coming up on May 8th. So join us for that. Of course, most of these clubs that I'm going to be talking about are $25, include lunch, and are from 9 to 4. So I'm just going to kind of get that out of the way right now. Then we have Stitcher's Gathering, April 8th, which must be coming up soon. All right, what day is it now? I don't even know what day it is. Today. I lost so many days with this birth. <laughs> well, you walked in this morning, and I was like, who's the new chick? Yeah, the fourth today. Okay, I got it. All right, May 8th again. So we have a couple groups that meet at the same time for a wool club. And then also if I'm oh, going to be the wool club with the colorful sheepies, there they are. Mm -hmm. $25 again with lunch. And this is a great 
club to come to if you need help with anything. Just pick out a kit from the shop, or if you have one already at home, bring it in and we'll get you started on it. So it's not very um, hard and it's all kind of the same stuff, really. It will applique is all kind of the same. And then we have sit and stitch on May 14th. So we have some May dates here. And then tomorrow, we might, if you if you want, last minute, we have might have some openings yet in Kathy and Peggy's class here. And that runs 9.30 to 4.30 for two days, Friday and Saturday. And it this is $150. And you bring, bring anything that you want to finish. So if you have some cross stitch or wool applique or anything that needs to be framed or um, mat, you know, displayed somehow, they will give you tons and tons of ideas on how to finish your items. And I can't wait to show you how some of my projects were finished. I actually met a finisher, Susan Coates, and I want to show you what she did with some of my things because I'm all about getting help nowadays. <laughs> all right. So finishing is a good thing. We love it when we finish the project and then we finish it ready to display, not just get done stitching and then be like, okay, now what do I do with it? We want to make sure those aren't just sitting in the closets. We want them out and enjoyed for the season that they belong in. And then of course we have the Bernina educational event and that is April 22nd. And we have a Bernina pro coming in to teach my cute little pouch class. Does anybody know where the pouch went? It's uh, downstairs back. With okay. They have Barb. it downstairs in the shop. But I picked out some really cool gray flannel and some hand dyed wool. And and Vanita did a wonderful little um, monogram on that. So you're going to learn all the things about the 790 Pro in this class. So please join us on that. And I think we have a bunch of people already signed up. We're just looking for a couple more spots to fill in that. And then the next day, April 23rd, is the big day here. Everybody is like, ooh, da, 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 you know, talking about menus and all the stuff going on here for Mr. Olchi's visit on the 23rd of April. Him and I are going to have a make and take or make and take a quick Q and a you can have make and takes before that. And then we are going to have some fun. I got some pretty good fun questions. I want to ask this um, elite business, sixth generation family business owner here that I want to chit chat with him about. So come bring a friend, hang out for the day. You, you're not going to believe the food that they're talking about. I think it's a list about this long, hotter d'oeuvres, colder d'oeuvres, all kinds of stuff going on. So please come and join us for that. Then learn to punch needles. So this is Saturday, June 1st from nine to noon. And this is with Kathy Decker. All right. And that is the 21st. And then we also have something called purge and splurge coming up, which is super fun where everybody brings all their stuff and they sell it and you get it at a great deal. If you're looking for some bargain things. So, um, things like sewing notions, sewing machines, threads, flosses, quilting books, antique, vintage toys, kits, patterns, Fabrics of all kinds, quilting books, art supplies, plants, wool, scissors, buttons, crafts, candles, any of those stuff work for us. Anything you think someone coming to primitive gatherings might want to take home with them. So anything that you're interested in is up for grabs. And that is June 7th is set up for vendors. And then the date of the event is June 8th. So whether you want to be a vendor there's information for that as well. And then June 8th is the uh, event from 9 to 2 p.m. Vendor booths are available for $25. Please call Peggy over at the gathering and reserve your spot for that. All right, I think I did both of these in one shot. <laughs> and then we are uh, privileged to have Chessie and me, Linda, coming from Chessie and me to do a cross-stitch hangout June 14th and, and the 15th. So it's two days, nine to four, and you can check in on Thursday and check out on Sunday. So a long weekend, you can make that. And we also are able to call Peggy for that, 175 for uh, lodging students, and then 200 for day students. 
All right, then next up, Summertime Sit, Sew, Shop, and Stay, July 12th through the 13th. So you get like two days of sewing and it is only $200. You stay the whole night, the whole all night. You can stitch all night and stitch the next day until 3 p.m. So two full days of sewing. Again, I think you can register online or call Peggy, right? Can they register online for those? Um, for these, if it's uh, overnight stays, they still have to call. Okay, still have to call. Wow, we got some big announcements here. We have up next, this is mark your calendar because uh, August 21st through the 25th, we have Debbie Maddie coming to teach indigo dyeing. So she will be here. Uh, on our motor retreat. And then I believe she is staying after to teach. So all the details are there for hand dyeing workshop. And it is super fun. If you've never done it, I encourage you to do so. It is super cool. All right. And then we have all things pumpkin, which is uh, Saturday, the 28th or Monday, the 30th. So this is a one day event. And you come for the day, it is $200. It includes the project and lunch, lattes and lunch and <laughs> pumpkin favors. And you can say if you want, you can say oh, the night gorgeous. before or the day of and night after. You can hook on a weekend, however you want that to look. But uh, we have two options there for all things pumpkin. And then I didn't see for our Mackinac, um, that's because that is one giant flyer to put together. We're working on that flyer, yeah, all right? Good. But just, several flyers, so. just know if you're interested in the Mackinac projects that we will be teaching them, what is it, May what? The week of May 20th. The week of May 20th, and we'll get that flyer for next week. Heidi's been bombarded with getting all of our new flyers, which you just saw some new ones, mm -hmm. plus all the blog posting she does, plus filling in for all the other things when people are gone. Also, I just want to point out um, that the events that you just went over, like the Debbie Maddie and the, the the new flyers they saw, I have not had a chance to get those on the event calendar okay. yet, but I will be working on that. This all time. right. So those were just released today. So those will be added to the events calendar as soon as possible. All right. So, well, let's just go back to these and get these out of the way here too. All right. So I have a winner for our Twilight Stars. Literally, I am so close to being done. Like if I had a sewing machine, I would have had them done. But I just was able to prep all the triangles, lay them all out in the blocks. And then I had to confirm with Heidi that I have the right ones. So yeah. All right. So I am showing you uh, week number 42. And these this winner is Kathy Tabor Francis. You are the winner of week number 42, and these are week number 42's blocks. <laughs> ha ha, there you go. All right, those are there. So Kathy, you are going to let Heidi know your um, information and she will send you that. And you are entered to win the grand prize, which is to get your quilt quilted or a $2,200 gift card. One of those, huh? And then, Blue and white quilt show. I see that. This is already up on our website. We would love, love, love to have a ton of quilts for the blue and white quilt show. So those are, uh, all that information is also on our website. If you go to our website and type in blue and white quilt show, all that will come up and you will be set to go. I seen in the box there, some people have already signed up and you know, we can't make this place really super cool for our primitive Christmas event without those quilts. So please share them with us. We love them. Uh, Moda blockheads. Moda blockheads. Moda blockheads. All right. I was deep into the woods this week. Actually, I was there from Easter. I got the call on Easter that the water broke. So I was whoosh. And I didn't come home until last night. So uh, I will post this week's Moda Blocks next week. Thank All right. I have Heidi has it. the one, the place to go up on the site. There you go. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be doing some uh, foundation piecing on this one. And I did try to do it, but I only, the pattern prints back to back. So I needed another four sections to do that. So I couldn't do that when I was willing. I needed to get four more sections. If you, you know, if you're doing it, you know what I mean by that. All right. 
I'm going to take a drink of my orange cup here that doesn't match my Dear Santa Red. There's a lot of announcements. Yes, that was a lot of announcements. We're going to have a quick show today. All right. We're not going to. We're not we're gonna be easy on Heidi. <laughs> we're gonna get over there to comments sold, and then my butt's going back to be grandma. Okay. Oh, look at this. Do you know? I gotta just show off a little bit that when you stay at the gathering, you get this tote that says primitive gatherings. And then every year that you stay, you get a, a year patch. So I have all mine sewn on. So I finally got the 24 sewn on. And then we also do other things. So this is from Naughty and Nice. This is from um, All Things Pumpkin, Quilts of Valor, our Hogs for Heroes. So I have a couple other patches. And I even started my um, red and white, red, white, and green quilt show patch on this one here. So I'm proud that I got those babies sewn on because that ain't easy. I did it by hand with upholstery thread. So Sometimes you just got to have it sitting there when you have five minutes, but not 10 to do something. And you just quick sew a patch on. All right. Let's start talking about Dear Santa, unless we have any questions that I need to address on any of the announcements or anything coming up before we go. I don't think so. All right. Pull that back a little bit. Am I too loud? Nope. Oh, congratulations on the blue and white, but I don't want the picture submitted with it. What? Oh, uh, yes. She wants to know if she can register without having a quilt. Yeah, yet. yeah, yeah. You can register. You don't have to have your quilt finished by any means. You have until um, October 31st, I think, to finish it. Yeah, yeah. it's just when she When you send it, it in, you have to have a picture of it with it because we want to know what quilt goes with your name we want to have a picture of it and we put that picture on the back of the quilt too i think we that's where they go and then um so we we keep everything organized so that's why you don't have to have it done now you have to, until the 31st of october to get those in all right but that's a good question so thanks for asking that because some people may think that they have that the quilt done before they can send it no you can register anytime between now and the 31st and send it in. Okay. All right. Anything else on questions, Jess? Are you good? We did a complete tutorial on sleigh ride, right? We have a question that says, will you be finishing sleigh ride with a tutorial? Hmm. Maybe quilting it? I don't know. Well, I don't know either. Yeah, there should be, I think, three parts to sleigh ride. We can check on that. Make sure that they're all there. But um Look on the playlist on YouTube, and they should be there. Someone's going to Lake Tahoe for a quilt retreat. Yes, Audrey, you have to come to Primitive Gatherings on a quilt retreat, too. <laughs> All right, so I want to show you our new book here. It's called Dear Santa. It has, I believe, eight large quilts and then um, – like three different other projects, but there's a lot of little projects. So there's looks like there's more than three, but Terry did an awesome job on our book here. We got all Santa's paraphernalia on there, his jacket and his hat and his quilts. And I am gonna start going through them from start to finish in the book. Here we go. And everything I show you is on our website and can be ordered right now, but it's not quite here yet. It could drop any day, right? It says, what does it say for delivery? May 5th. May 5th. But usually they're a little early. They're a little early. So we want to be ready. We have all the quilts ready. And when they, when we do tell you that the, the fabric ships and it lands here, we still need a couple weeks to put all the kits together for you. And we always start with the uh, easiest ones first and the hardest ones last. All right. So the first quilt that I have here is called Santa in Flight. Okay. And this is one that Jessica made. All right. So this one here uses a square up template at the end if you want. Otherwise, we give you a template in the book. But this kind of gives you a good idea. Jessica's going to help me here. 
This quilt is 64 by 72. And she washed it already. I did. Yeah, she <laughs> likes that crinkled up look. All right, isn't that beautiful? And the stripes are all going the same way, right? We fussy cut those, I think. All right, so here, I don't know if Heidi can do a close up, but we give you a template. We give you templates to cut. This is the only shape that needs to be cut as a template. And we don't give you a um, acrylic template for that. We Those work just fine. And But we do have an acrylic template for squaring up your blocks that can be purchased separately for that one. All right, then next up, we have somebody asked was it hard to keep the stripes organized it was not because of the way you have it cut they're always going to be striped the same way because i think you're cutting strips yes and then you're just turning the, the template. template so all the stripes are nice and straight for you and it's it's really a i i would think a really easy quilt because everything is you know that template is right on that that center triangle and then the other two uh, triangles are oversized and the bottom one is oversized too. So then you put that square up on and you just zip around and every block then becomes perfect. Right. And then somebody just asked if you could see the backs of the quilts. Oh, okay. But the backs of the quilts are not going to be what is on oh, when you pick yeah. the backs because we did not get enough. Yeah, so the problem with Dear Santa is we, we had limited yardage. They did not give us backings from the line. So this is the line right here, and it has one, two, three, four, five lights, and then four reds here. I, I had to steal the uh, this one out of here because uh, I was short of fabric, <laughs> and I just needed that much, and I could finish what I was doing. So those are the only fabrics that came in this line, and we didn't, Moda didn't have enough yardage to give us all backing, so we just used some of our red and white um, fabric that we had here. So this next one is called North Pole. And this is a fun, fun, big, clunky star that uses all of the fabrics that are in this line. There's only nine fabrics and then the panel. So there's only 10 total. This one is 67 by 81. And we can show you a little bit of what's on the back, but it's just that we pretty much use this little cream with this red little itsy ditsy and almost all of them and they can't see that for sure Those yeah too, too yeah little. so jess i'll bring that one up closer so this is pretty much the backing that we used so heidi will zoom in and i don't know what just did what did we do for backings did you just order a whole bunch of cream with red one of these probably we probably ordered a ton of the star on our um on our slip it had what we had picked for the backing so i okay. ordered it that way okay awesome all right then what next we would have had yeah yeah so when we when we here's the thing when we do all of the fabrics for the, each quilt when we do that ahead of time before we even make them we allocate what we're going to use for binding what we're going to use for backing even though we didn't use it for backing because we didn't have it um, but we pick out what we think will look best on the back and that's what Jessica has slated. If you ordered backing for it, that's what she ordered more of when, when she did the pre-order. All right, next up we have Santa Tracker. And this is a cute little, little quilt. This could be a crib quilt. It could be a table runner. I love to put this on my long table and I do it point to point. That's how I do a lot of quilts on my table. You've seen them at my house when you, when you get to see those photographs but isn't this a fun quilt be honest as i'm looking at it on the thing i feel like if you cut a slit here it would be a really cute tree skirt tree skirt yeah for sure this would be a great tree skirt absolutely and then somebody have a question if we have kits of these yes we have kits for everyone that we're showing you now they are already on our website they are ready for sale and they are coming soon so that's why we're kind of recapping everything because we have everything ready for this fabric to come in we have the book ready we have all the quilts ready and we have all the little projects ready because i don't really show you some of those little projects until the book comes out because i don't really know what i'm doing half the time so that's just how it works all right next up 
is a big quilt. It is 90 by 90. And if you need a big, easy, fast Christmas quilt, here you go. This one is yours. All right. So this is called Twinkle. It's one big twinkle. So how, won't that look stunning on your bed at Christmas time? Or to give as gifts because there's not too much work? Because essentially you're really only making one big block. And we did a appropriate size orange peel on here, nice and big. It's probably about three and a half inches on there. All right. And I think only three fabrics in that whole quilt, the star and then all the twinkling points around it is another fabric. And the book has a lot of full size templates. There were some uh, wonky shapes in some of them. And I didn't want you to say, oh, you know, cut this rectangle and then cut it on the diagonal and then try to piece that all back together. I want to give you a template because I think templates work best, especially when they're those big oversized ones. All right. This quilt is called, let me see, I made it. I can't remember the name. Little Gifts. And it's super fun. All right. So there it is. These, I believe. I think that's one inch. Let me look. I think it was one and a quarter, one and a quarter half inch triangles on this one. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda loves it when we talk to her during her live. Yeah, she always tries but to super in. fun quilt here. It's actually on like this. Yeah. <laughs> I do have a little boo-boo in here somewhere. I did turn a couple blocks. I've been doing that a lot lately. Must mean I'm in a hurry. But then when I try to find it, I can't. So. Oh, yeah. It was like a. Yeah. It was just like three or four of them were turned the wrong way. <laughs> right here. I know I'm not supposed to point it out. But sometimes I want you to know that we all do this. So something's wrong here. Here. It's the wrong combination. Yeah. It's in the wrong whatever. It's okay. The world ain't going to end. I like it when you find those things in quilt. Look, because I don't care who you are. It all has happened to every one of us, right? So that quilt was 55 by 67, a nice kind of couch quilt or um, really nice friendly baby quilt too, I think it would make too. And remember, these quilts are not just winter or Christmas quilts. These can be uh, Valentine's Day. They can be in a stack during uh, red, white, and blue. You know what I mean? And then also at Christmas time. So they're very versatile and none of them scream Christmas unless they have Dear Santa in them. So any of these could be at any time quilt. All right. Did you make this next one, Jess? I did not. All right. Santa Tracks. I don't know who made this one, but it is awesome. And it is, uh, I think those, uh, Stripes are fussy cut again. Mm -hmm. All right. So simple nine patch. Sometimes, you know, it's fun to do an easy quilt. You know, every quilt that we make doesn't have to test every ounce of patience we have. So sometimes it's really nice to do a big, easy quilt, especially one that, like I said, can be out at Valentine's Day or some of the other red and white holidays. So this one is 76 by 85 and just a beautiful nine patch. We all love nine patches. Anybody agree with me that they love nine patches? Yep. The fastest, easiest yeah. block to make. <laughs> okay. Up next is one of my favorites. Countdown to Santa's visit. All right. Here we go. Here's Dear Santa, our panel. And then just some half square triangles, some big inner border, big outer border, and voila, you have a nice, awesome quilt. We have several different uses here for Dear Santa, so hang tight. This isn't the only one we have. You can stitch this like I did, or you can leave it unstitched. Whatever you choose, it's going to be no big deal. Nobody's going to be like, oh my God, she didn't stitch that, right? So if you're making multiples and maybe some people are worthy of one being stitched and one some people aren't that might be your determining factor <laughs> all right any questions are we doing good yeah the um 
Countdown to Santa's Visit is 78 by 86. It doesn't look that big, does it? Mm -mm. Yeah. But again, that was an easy one. So the one coming up next is, to me, this is like the showstopper of the book here. So Pam made this quilt for me. Oh, my God. When I uh, saw it and I, 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 I did one panel, I'm like, okay, I can't do another one. Uh, uh, so Pam, I gave her the, the granddaddy and she pulled it off. Look at how gorgeous this quilt is. So it is, it sits very nicely on my king size bed. You'll see some photography in the book where it just hits perfectly. Um, so here's the, it has some snowflakes out here. And I do want to mention that we use number five weight 0775 on the panel. So you're going to need more if you're going to do this quilt than two balls. Two balls just for the Santa alone. And I don't know, I'll have to ask Pam how many balls total. But then look at here, we got Dear Santa, I Can Explain. That's the name of this quilt. So this is all stitched too. And this is layered like one stem stitch layered next to another. And it is so beautifully done. I can't wait to have that on my bed at Christmas time. And the, we have nice close-ups in the book and tracing diagrams for you here for everything. All right. That is the last of the big quilts. All right. So I don't need any more help, Jess. You can sit down. Okay. I didn't really get to look at this. I've never looked at these. I mean, I picked them up in Nashville, but I've been so busy that I never really looked at each and every one of them. All right. So we have a project called, oh, this wasn't next. I said I would go in order. Okay. Speaking of being a grandma or a Mimi or a Nana, or a Gigi, or whatever you are. I had my little guy write out this saying and sign his name to it. So Jace did this. And I would encourage you to do the same and make a keepsake of their cute handwriting. And again, I just stitched it with the five weight pearl cotton. And we do have this fabric here. This is not in the line. So this is a, a fabric that we have still, I believe, out of our homespun. And it looks like the, the handwriting or the printing paper, right? But we do still have this. So we will put this in the kit for this if you need this fabric. But how sweet is this to have? And now I got to make sure once Owen... And Lachlan are old enough to write that I do one for them as well. Okay, so that's one of the projects in there. And then that pillow is 13 by 16. But depending on how your uh, little one writes, who knows what size your pillow will be. All right, then next up we have the Santa Stitcheries. I didn't know what we named them. All right, so let's dig them all out. So this is what I mean by a finisher. So I made the flat piece like this. So here it is right here. So I stitched that out piece, and then I handed it off, and she finished it and made this 3D pair. Isn't that cool? And it stuffed really hard. I love it. And then she did some cording on the sides. I'll stay in one spot, Heidi. I'm sorry. That's all right. All right. So you see them there? So that we got the pair. I'll put them right here. And then what next do we have? Oh, I don't know what that is. No, I don't know what this is. Look at this guy. So it's a cast iron little mini frying pan. <laughs> And it has Santa in it. And that's super cute. She did some wool kind of like rick racky looking stuff around the loops around the outside and some cording to make that fit in there nicely. 
And then she just finished some of them the old fashioned way by stuffing them and then adding the cording around the outside. And we do have a video on how to do cording and add a little bell on the bottom. And again, stuffed really hard. I love it. Whatever she did. Susan, you did awesome. Look at that. Super cute. Blurry. Yeah. Sorry. That's all right. Worried about here about my face. Yeah. And then another one. Star. All right, what do we got in here? Ooh, one of these little jello molds. Get that on there straight. Oh, the twig is like, <laughs> we'll set that down. So while you're showing all those, how yeah. would you transfer all of that and like the snowflakes and the wording onto okay. the project? All right, that's a great question. So this is light fabric, obviously, right? So in our book, we have lots of um, tracing diagrams for you. So you would put that on your light table and then just lightly trace either with a pencil or with a friction pen or something that you feel comfortable with marking it with, and then you just stitch it. So it's very, very simple. It doesn't get any easier than, you know, than to do these little uh, embroidery stitches. So this must be the extra stuff that I, um, hey, maybe we should um, let this go too. Huh. Okay. I do not know what this was. Okay. So. Put the pear on top of it? The pear went on top of it? Oh yeah, oh, okay. The pear went on top of that? I see. Seems like the only thing that could set down. <laughs> yeah. I don't quite know. Put it underneath the pair. There you go. Sure. Let's try it. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> all right. So then those are all the Santa stitcheries. And then I included one fun little thing that I've had for a while. And this is a cute little antique little mini quilt that is just stem stitched as well isn't it super cute and it's just all red work and again you can make it any size you want you can just keep stitching away but this is a little baby quilt that i had purchased years and years and years ago so i thought it was only fitting to put in the book here as well and share that with you all right so i have nothing left to talk about besides picking winners how are we doing on any of that? Uh, um, you got my winners? How many winners are we going to have? How many you got? Well, I have three, but I have a fourth one. Yeah, I have four. Okay, so the fourth one's on the back of this one. Okay. The more, more better. The more, the better. All right. So let's pick. I'm going to mix them all up, and I'm going to pick the grand prize winner. The grand prize winner today is a pre-cut kit that I had for Naughty and Nice. So it's all pennies, and it makes a penny mat. So do you see it there? So the first name I pick is going to be the winner of the penny mat, and that is Yvonne Faraway. All right, you won the kit. And then the next three winners are going to get Heidi's... Uh, Famous charm pack. These are red and white. No, they're not Dear Santa because we don't have any. And just the FYI, Dear Santa only came in a half yard bundle. We didn't get any pre cuts with Dear Santa because there was only uh, nine fabrics and a panel. So you understand. And I think does the does the pre cut come with the um, panel in it or no? I don't think so. I don't think it does. Right. So it's nine half yards in the pre cut. That was my water. Here it goes. <laughs> Oh, it was I'm just gonna water. Need, I'm going to need a little bit. I'm going to put my little thing Pick on. up on aisle. All right. Back to the winners. Linda Hamsa, you won one of these. And Sue Drushki, you two won those. And then Cindy. Oh. <laughs> oh. I didn't do it. 
Nidswicky. Yeah, there you go. Best guess. All right, clean up an aisle. Please, 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 just a picture. There. there you go. Go. All right. I did have a question. Okay. Do you put a stabilizer behind your stitchery? Okay. I I do not. Not when I'm stitching it. I might after when I'm making it into a pillow or I am uh, and making something out of it just to stabilize the fabric. But I don't I don't do it while I'm stitching it. I just stitch it on regular fabric. But I think that's a personal preference. And if you are going to do it, I like to use, what is that one I like? SF 101. Yeah. That's the one I do put on. Like a lot of times if I'm going to make a pillow out of something, I will put that interfacing on there. It's like a little fusible interfacing and it stabilizes it. So I did that behind every one of these when I, I, I stitched it. And then when I, when I was ready to trim it down, I put it on the whole thing. And then I trimmed it with the fusible interfacing on it before I put it into a quilt. And I'll tell you why, because this is kind of wimpy. This panel is kind of wimpy and these blocks have subs, you know, a little bit of substance to them because they're pieced. So I wanted this to be kind of the same weight as this. Now I didn't talk about this quilt back here. So a good thing I just thought about this. Okay. I have two other quilts that are just single patterns. So every one of the things that I just talked about came in, the Dear Santa book. And the book is $28. So that, that is the, everything I showed you previous to this is in the book. This guy right here is a single pattern and he's for sale as a kit and a pattern on our website as well. Do you remember what he, oh, Starring Santa, this one is called. All right. And you can do this two ways. You can do it like I did with the light and the, and the dark doing this, or you can make all red stars or all white stars. You could do it either way. I've patterned it each way and it shows that in the pattern if you want to do all the same color stars or if you want to flip them like I did. So I gave you that option as well. And then the last pattern for that's a single pattern is going to be this one. And we don't have a name for it yet, but it's it's um Sam the snowman pattern done with dear Santa. One of these days, I'll get it right. All right. So this one is using two of the star fabrics here. I only used one unlike, and then this is ready to go like that. And we could, maybe we could call it Santa Sam or something like that. Who knows what we're going to name that one, but that is not on the website yet. All right. I have to figure out the, Yardage for the red and white triangles because there's only two fabrics, so I can't use Sam's yardage. I have to figure that one out. And I didn't do it yet. It's how about, doing. How about just Chris Kringle? Yeah, okay. Jess says we're going to name it Chris Kringle. Stephanie says too. All right, or whoever said it. Thank you. That's a good. We'll write that down. All right, everyone. I picked winners. Congratulations if you won. Thanks for joining me here today. Remember, comment sold quickly after this so I can run up to uh, Luke and Laura and get my baby snuggles in and help them cook for them, do some whatever I, that needs to be done. Get in the way, be the annoying grandma. <laughs> All right, everyone, take care and we'll see you next week.